Hello and welcome to Toby's Sideshow of Scale Styrene. Today we're going to be looking at my ectobug. Now I've already done some videos about this because it was part of a group build, but this is my start to finish uh, slideshow of my ectobug. The kit uh, uses portions from this old uh, Ecto-1A Ghostbusters 2 model kit that came out when the movie first came out and um, the 68 Volkswagen Beetle by Ravel. A uh, little bit to know about this uh, kit. It says that it's a skill level 2. This exact same kit is offered through uh, Ravel of Germany um, with uh, the same number of parts, 125 odd parts or so, and it is listed as a skill level 4 from, uh, from Ravel Germany. Uh, that might be partly because of the number of parts that are in the kit, but it also has to do with the fact that the kit does require some precision when building. Uh, I would not say it's for the novice. I think uh, you need some intermediate or advanced skills when you're building this Volkswagen, but it is an excellent kit. Truly uh, excellent. So, let's take a look at my Ectobug walk-around. Uh, before I start, uh, a shout out to Chris Cortell from Classic Plastic 101. He's the one who came up with the name Ectobug when I first mentioned that I was going to turn a Volkswagen Beetle into a Ghostbuster car. And here's the walk around. As you can tell, the kit is painted white and red. Originally, I was going to do the fenders in red, but uh, it became problematic. The kit is molded in white, but the body white is a different shade of white than the rest of the parts. So you definitely need to paint the kit. You uh, you cannot just uh, polish it up. It has to be painted. The decals come from the Ecto-1A, plus some decals that I had to uh, make myself because uh, Ecto-1A has the Ghostbusters 2 logo, and I did not want to go with that. The wonderful white walls you see on here are from the kit. It's a decal from the kit, and they work terrifically. Okay, on to the build. First, we want to look at the engine. The I painted the engine red and silver. The engine actually comes, uh, most of the engine parts are molded in white, and so you need to paint them. And I painted it a, a nice chrome silver and then red. And, and while typically if you're going to have a Volkswagen engine, you should not paint it because I, I guess it has problem, it causes problems with the air cooling. Um, this is actually before I did some touching up on it. The hoses I painted black, but as you can tell, there's quite a few little bits and pieces to this engine. It is a very, uh, complex build for the engine and uh, really an excellent uh, kit all on its own. Probably one of the better uh, Volkswagen engines you're going to find out there. Uh, some kits do not even come with an engine. Uh, for instance, the ones by Italeri and uh, Hasegawa often do not have uh, an engine with them. They just have a portion of an engine. But Tamiya and uh, Ravel both come with a really good-looking Volkswagen engine, and uh, and both uh, have multiple parts. This one has more parts than the Tamiya engine, but it's really a great engine when it's all done. Here we have it sitting where it belongs. Uh, you have to make sure everything is fitting tightly with this engine. If you do not, uh, the, uh, the lid of the uh, engine will not close. I painted the uh, area around the engine uh, medium gray, to me, is, to me is medium gray, to help set it off with the white, I'm sorry, the red and the silver. Here you see the bottom of the engine as it is in place. A lot of car kits only show this part of the engine, so it's really great to have a full Volkswagen engine in the Ravel kits and, the two, and also the Tamiya kits. And you see the suspension here and, and other parts. And here we have a picture of the interior, which I did in red and white. And uh, up here, this is a decal on the uh, radio. There's also a decal for the uh, 
the uh, speedometer and such. Notice the shifter and uh, seats are flat red. The interior is actually gloss red where, and also white. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is this is uh, basically the same kit as the Revell uh, USA kit, uh, only this is the German Polizei one. Uh, the German Polizei kit comes with uh, three different uh, little uh, lights for the top, and I use one of them on my uh, Ghostbuster build. Uh, but uh, it, the kit otherwise is exactly the same as the Revell uh, USA kit. The only difference is it goes up for about $10 more. So if you're looking for a really good Volkswagen, you can just stick with the USA kit, or you can go with the Revell Germany if you want other uh, options that you can have for your uh, Volkswagen Beetles. And here we have uh, some more pictures of it. You see the big Ghostbuster logo in front. That's a, a, a custom decal I ended up making. Uh, after ruining two of them, this is the third one, and there's still a problem here that I'm going to have to fix, probably do some touch-up painting. The bar across the front here is off of the Ecto-1A. It's one of the lights that come with it. Right here in the middle is the uh, the bubblegum machine or the uh, light that's off of the German Pulitz eye. All the other devices on top, with the exception of this is from the Ecto-1A. This is actually from uh, Tom Daniels' garbage truck by Monogram. Here's a better view. As you can tell, this is nothing but uh, a scuba tank from the Monogram kit painted gold. This is one of the devices used in the Ecto-1A. I'm using it as a uh, containment uh, device for the ghost, and you notice the hose. I had to cut and move hoses around and such, and uh, it's being uh, fed through the roof of the uh, the uh, Volkswagen. And then this is uh, some kind of device from Ecto-1A, same here, and also this device, which is supposedly to help you find ectoplasm in the air. I should also mention that the glass in these portions here has been actually painted uh, clear yellow by Tamiya. They come just plain clear. A side view, like I said, I painted uh, around the windows red. I was going to paint the uh, the fenders instead, but uh, I didn't like the way that looked. Then, uh, so I went with just the red around the windows. This is hand painted. It took about four coats to get the red to finally just uh, not bleed through into the white and look kind of pinkish. Um, and uh, it took, uh, you know, then there's sanding involved and everything else and some coating and a little bit of scraping here and there to get it every everything right. If you notice around the windows, there's actually silver trim around all of the uh, windows. And also here for the little uh, fly window that's up in front, it, there's a silver line here too. Uh, the kit actually says to use black. I went with silver anyway. And uh, the windows are held in place using the tester's uh, glue for clear parts, and uh, it held real well. Uh, first time using it on a kit, and uh, basically I realized that you basically had to put the glue in place, let it sit for about 20 seconds, and then start trying to put the clear plastic in place, and it will uh, hold them much better. And here's what I'm talking about with this hose. As you see, it's fed through the roof, then down and through the compartment, and then all the way down into the uh, engine bay. The uh, decals that you're seeing here, the stripe is off of the Ecto-1A, and obviously the We Believe You Call JL5 2020 is also off of Ecto-1A. The other Ghostbuster figure I had to, or, or other Ghostbuster decal I had to make my, myself. These white walls on the tires, those are decals that came with the uh, the California Beetle, the Revell USA Beetle, and those are really terrific and they, they go on really well. Uh, I did use a micro set solution to put them in place and it worked quite well. 
Another view showing the roof and uh, other details. Very little chrome in the kit. Basically, it's just the lights and the uh, hubcaps and such, and uh, which is really good because there shouldn't be a whole lot of chrome. It's a Volkswagen. The running boards are chrome. The bumpers are chrome also. And here we have the Ecto Bug. The, like I said, the name given to it by Chris Cortell and called JL5 2020 across the uh, the uh, lid for the engine. And you notice a little chrome portion there for holding or for closing the uh, engine. Same thing with the wipers, the uh, door handles, all sorts of little things are chrome. They're not molded in place, which is really good. One other thing I'd like to point out is this right here, which is a trailer hitch for this uh, Beetle. Uh, so if you're looking to add a trailer or a camper or something to your Volkswagen, you can actually do that with this kit because of this trailer hitch. So that's my uh, walk around and uh, close up views and discussions about the Ectobug that I built. I was really happy with the kit overall. Really good. Uh, kit if you're looking for a Volkswagen kit to build the uh, California Beetle uh, by Ravel is uh, is an exceptional kit and 124 scale thanks for visiting hope you enjoyed the uh, slideshow and uh, as always comments are welcome and insults are cheerfully ignored if you've enjoyed what you've seen please give me a subscription and uh, share the word Again, thanks for coming and have a great day.